Hey, this is Natasha Larry Lewis with Esther's Place, and let's make a mushroom. Taking one of our needles, we're going to fold the white wool over the needle, and then holding it tightly, crank, crank, crank it up. That's going to make our stem. So keep on cranking, keeping the wool very flat and smooth. You can fold in the end every once in a while, and this is going to be our stem. Let's get that on the needle, and then we're going to go ahead and tighten it even more before we start poking. Taking another needle, short little pokes into our stem, the end, the sides, all over. It's gonna help it to hold together. So let's go ahead and poke it, and turn it, poke it, and turn it. And as you're poking, those little notches in the needle are tangling the fibers together and making it turn into felt. So keep on poking, get out all your frustrations, and all of your uh, weak stress <laughs> and before you know it we are going to be adding a little bit of our mushroom color to our stem now you want to do short shallow pokes don't poke too deep and when it's feeling solid we're going to take it off the needle roll it in your hands you can even blow on it while you're rolling to add some moisture so for the top of our mushroom we're going to take this color and we're gonna wrap it very tightly. About halfway in, we're gonna fold that top over, and this is gonna be the cap of our mushroom. Again, keep it very tight as you're rolling it up, and keep it very flat. When we get that all rolled up here, this is gonna be the cap of our mushroom. We're gonna put one needle in to hold it, and we're gonna poke with the other needle. So you just wanna do little tiny pokes all over, getting it to hold together. And the more that you poke, the tighter it gets. Every once in a while, just turn that around there and poke on the other side. So we're gonna spend a couple of minutes poking this. You want the mushroom to feel pretty solid. So go ahead and spend a couple of minutes poking on this until it is smooth and it has a nice shape. Now notice how I'm taking and changing the directions so that I can get a uh, a little better shaped on the bottom and on the side and on the top. So don't be afraid to just, you know, rotate it, turn it. Always use that helper needle to kind of hold things in place so you don't have to with your fingers. All right, so now we're going to start adding some of the spots. We're using a softer, finer merino wool for the spots because it does kind of mesh in easier. So I've rolled a tiny bit of fiber. I'm going to pin that in and poke it down. Now, don't poke too deep here. You want to go a little bit more shallow so that the spots stay on the surface and don't sink all the way down. So adding our little dots, you can make them different colors, you can make them different sizes, anything that you like. So just keep rotating around, adding spots where you think they need to be. Let's see how this little guy is turning out. I just love cute little woodland felted items. I think they're so fun. So enjoy your mushroom and thanks for joining me at Esther's Place for another fun felting project.